You know, while I'm down here, my mother's, I'm doing a lot of processing. And uh, I don't wish anybody any ill will. And I'm a logical person. So, um, Eddie Bermudez. The I'm not crazy, I have Tourette's guy. He inspired that sign. He also inspired another sign because he stole my tools. We need not make mention of that now. But I had two, three signs professionally done by, I think, Click Signs. Uh, one said, uh, my neighbor stole my tools. The other one said, it said that in so many words. The other said, uh, these signs are political statements. And then the last one said, I'm not crazy, comma, with a middle finger sticking up emoji. Uh, I have Tourette's and it's a picture of me with those signs in my front yard with my beautiful, be beautiful, God rest her, uh, Gonda service animal in the front yard of my city house located at 1831 North 8th Way, Ridgefield, Washington, 98642. Anyway, across the street from me, across and over a little bit, not Victoria Thomas, wretched, 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 but uh, Eddie Bermudez and his uh, lovely but peculiar wife that Eddie told that I was enamored with, which, if you can ask, Nicole was far from the case. But anyway, um, Eddie had beaten Pamela's daughter, I don't know her name, she was 13, so bad that the white part, you know, the white part of the eye was bright red, just all blood, right? And um, I have a complicated past and I can't tolerate that shit and I have Tourette's and I can't keep my fucking mouth shut. And then uh, Eddie turned and uh, started shoving me and I was like just shake my hand Eddie just shake my hand and they threw me again I had on some fry boots and they were some nice boots I was like, dum, 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 and I just held my ground dum, 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 held my ground and then um I think I said well Eddie can I at least have my beer and uh I drank beer with a screw top on it so uh, he picked it up and flung it at my head and then uh, turned around to go get it. And then I turned back around to Eddie and I said something, I don't know what it was. And then I was thrown from behind and I turn around and it's fucking my best friend from the army, the one I would have taken a bullet for. And he says, what, you want us both to kick your ass? And I said, what the fuck, dude? Dude, I'd take you off at the knees. And um, they called the cops on me. They called the cops on me. And the cops came and they arrested me for harassment. Um, threats of violence. Now, okay, take you off at the knees. Do a Google search on it. It's an idiom. It's a common idiom. Uh, it means to humble somebody or disempower them. Right? It's very similar to pull the rug out from underneath you. You're not quite literally going to pull the rug out from underneath somebody, uh, let alone to arrest them and put them in jail for 10 days. And then later in the trial where my best friend testifies against me, um, Eddie did okay in his testimony, but what a douche, what a douche. Anyway, Bauman testified that what I meant by uh, taking him off at the knees was that I was going to get a pump action shotgun that I had purchased at Walmart and I was going to blast him in his kneecaps. Now, after we had that exchange in the street, I went into my house for several hours, I want to say, a significant period of time. And then later I was on my front porch with um, 
Gunda, who had to go pee. So we walked down into the front yard. I don't remember what the exchange was about. Pamela said that she was getting toilet paper. Um, but they called the cops on me and I, I knew not to go outside that I would get arrested. But I went outside. I think it, I mean, Gunda was with me everywhere. I went on time. So Gunda was out there too. We were sitting on the front porch and uh, Sergeant Bone, the name is very fitting. Um, I think at the time he was just Officer Bone. Bone Head, but just Officer Bone. Came with uh, Officer Gibson. Fucking douchebag. Barney Fife, motherfucker. He's not even Barney Fife because he's this dude's vindictive and cruel. Barney's not vindictive and cruel. He's just incompetent. This guy's incompetent, vindictive, and cruel, and you should really check into him. Uh, Officer Nathaniel Gibson of the Ridgefield PD. But anyway, uh, I got a lot of beef with Ridgefield. A lot of beef with Ridgefield. But I lost what I was talking about. Um, Bauman testifying that I would shoot him in the kneecaps. Anybody that knows anything about me knows that I don't have any guns. I'm always like, no guns, no guns around me. Guns around you. I want everybody to carry guns, just not me. Uh, I uh, cultivate cannabis. I can't have that around because then it turns into a big felony. But um, I did cultivate cannabis at the time. I think I even had plants in my garage when I went to trial. But, um, yeah, fucking Victoria Thomas's mother, I don't remember her name, what a wretched soul, she sat there in the, in the courtroom, just to fucking persecute me, just saying the craziest, meanest shit about me, just venom dripping into the, the willing ear of the prosecutor, who, uh, was I think the third string motherfucker. I, I forget his name right now. He'll come to me because I'm going to have him fucking disbarred. It, it's because of him that all of this shit happened. Him and fucking judge, 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 judge Bennett. Judge Bennett of fucking Battleground, Washington. Uh, he and um, Judge Collier, they need to be stripped of all fucking titles, all fucking dignity. I mean, what they did... They both ordered me up to fucking Western State Psychiatric Hospital uh, simultaneously against my will. Both of them did that. One for a 15-day competency and one for um, a 45-day restoration. And, uh, you know, the day that he ordered me up there, I was in, in front of him with attorney uh, Lisa Toth, who handled, handled or at least handled it. Um, the mental health court in Clark County. So she was my attorney. And uh, under her representation, um, I was ordered up to Western, but uh, I know, I think me being guilty of this would be a technicality, Woo! a technicality at best. But um, I was arrested for driving while suspended. Uh, I would say it was more a clerical order, I mean, error, but um, fuck the state of Washington. I, I still have it on my driving record. Not 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 driving while suspended, but uh, leaving a motor vehicle running while unattended is on my criminal record. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? I was saying that um, he asked me if he, I wanted Miss Tote to represent me, and I said no. I want um, I'm going to represent myself on the matter. So I went back with that fucking wretched Scott, whatever his name is, prosecutor, and I I told him the whole fucking story, and um, and I said, tell you what, I know you're just interested in money, you cocksucking leech. So what, I'm embellishing a little. Sorry, the whole thing was recorded. I said. Um, I know you're just interested in money, so I'll just fucking pay you fine. What is it? I said, uh, I don't want anything that's going to raise my insurance rates. So uh, you pick what it is, as long as it's not a moving violation. 
I'll pay the fucking fine. What are you looking for? 325 or whatever it was. I agreed to pay it. And um, we went out there and the judge asked me if I uh, pled guilty to, I think, um, hunting a squirrel in the no squirrel zone or something like that. And I said, sure. And uh, I, he ordered me to pay the fine. I think I might have even paid cash at that time. And then he said, but now I need to tell you, Mr. Hensley, that uh, the court still views you as incompetent, even though he just treated you like you uh, went out and negotiated rather shrewdly with the prosecutor, came back. I uh, stripped you of your fucking m money because I'm living off the public dole and uh, really ill representing my community. So you go ahead and put your money in my coffers, Mr. Hensley, but now I'm afraid you're crazy again. So we're gonna send you up to fucking Western State Psychiatric Hospital against your motherfucking will. And uh, why he didn't say that to me, I sat there fucking utterly astounded, utterly astounded. I think that's on, on video, meaning that that court interaction Man, I got a lot of videos with me yelling at fucking Judge uh, Bennett and Battleground on my uh, AJ channel. Um, I had another one, Mitigated Chaos. And uh, that was when uh, I was arrested in 2019. I think my final arrest was March 23rd, 2019. Mitigated chaos. What does that tell you? That means that I understand that there's a lot of chaos around me and I'm trying to mitigate it. They uh, wanted to make it sound like I was crazy for some reason. Like I'm, It wasn't like, you know, unreasonable chaos or increase the chaos or, you know, long live chaos. It was mitigated, mitigated chaos. This is fucking 12 minutes. Bye.